you see him, Father? Foot soldiers. It is the man on horse, lance under arm, who decides battles. At the tournament, you shall see who is the stronger, our Saxon champion. Forgive me, my lord. Princess? I don't believe you have met Edmund of Cornwall, our champion. Edmund of Cornwall for England! Hooray! Reed Baldrick, champion of Saxony. Watch closely, Your Majesty. Baldrick has never been unhorsed. Never. Well fought, Edmund. Thank you, sire. <gasps> My lords, Catherine, as you say, the knight with the lance is the king of battles. Congratulations, Edmund of Cornwall. That crown sits well upon your head. Oh, no, no. I will not stay here and take to my bed like a helpless infant. You understand me, Doctor. I will not. I cannot. Oh. Find me Merlin. He'd know how to treat this. Gladly, if someone would tell me where he is. Merlin left Camelot three years ago, an old man wandering off to find a place to die. And even the king doesn't know where. Hmm. Well, somebody. Anybody except this royal faker. The seizure was not the first, nor the second, nor the third. Uh, the king needs a complete, uninterrupted rest. Rest with that Saxon in my court. Have him know I'm ill so he can race back across the channel with the good news. That's all the heathens need to come snapping at our throats. And they'd find some mad dogs right here to help them at the kill. Oh, perhaps a few days rest, sir. You two. And me. Be quiet, Kate. I'm not dead yet, and you're not the queen. You're still my daughter. Hmm. A fool's daughter. A stubborn, cantankerous old fool. <laughs> well, Your Highness. What do you propose? Someone as clever as my father would find a way of taking the rest he needs without letting anyone be the wiser. Well done. You know, I've not had time for hunting in years. But when I did, it was at your father's castle in Bannock. Good companion was your father. I'm off to Bannock for some hunting. Your Majesty! And once there... With no spying eyes to see the king flat on his back. But Bannock is two days' ride. Can't you go somewhere nearer and save your strength? Out. Get out, you slaughtering bloodletter. It's Bannock or nowhere. Yes, of course, Your Majesty. Um, uh, certainly, Your Majesty. I'll, um, I'll give orders to pack the medicine. And not a word to anyone about this little illness of mine. Do you hear? Uh, no, Your Majesty. Well, what are you two standing around doing nothing for? There are preparations to be made if you're coming with me. Father! Edmund, call back the doctor. No need, no need. Now, behave like a dutiful daughter and prepare my comforts for the trip. I love you. Go on, go on. I promise not to die. That's a king's word on it. And here. 
There's the king's ring to seal it. Edmund, stay a moment. Oh. I have no need to pretend with you, Edmund. Ever since Merlin left our court, I've come to value your counsel more and more. If anything should happen to me, I have two assurances that Catherine will succeed to the throne. Excalibur and you. I have trusted in this for 20 years. From the day Merlin took me to the magic stone, from which I alone could draw forth the sword. A shaft of steel, a few jewels, and yet all England will follow whoever holds it. Whoever holds it in honor. Indeed, sir. When I die, there must be no strife, no contending and conniving for the throne. Divide England against itself and wear an easy prey for the Saxons. Now, no more talk of death and doom, sire. The king is alive and will soon be well. God willing. God be with us all. How fares the king? In any other man, the attack would have proved fatal. England is ready to be conquered, weak from years of peace. Only Arthur stands in our path. Don't goad me, Saxon. I'm not sure I like these ways that power must be won. But you like power. Stay here with Edmund. You have no English squeamishness about doing what needs to be done. gold pieces to protect your party through this wood? Protect us? From whom? Why, from me, of course. But these are my woods, my lands. They're mine, as long as I hold these. Stop it, both of you. And as for you, you great Barbary ape. Catherine. Well, what else can you call him? Sitting up in a tree, threatening his king. Oh, your majesty, forgive me, I didn't know. In that case, the price is doubled. To ask less for your safe passage would be a, a dishonor to my king. Come here. Put down your bow. You won't shoot me. No harm will come to you. Your name? Robert Marshall, Your Majesty. Do you steal from the rich and the poor? Hardly. 
Only the rich ones make it worthwhile. I suppose you'll tell me you give to the poor. No, there's no point in distributing what I take to the poor. There wouldn't be enough to go round. Not in his lands. Under his tithes and taxes, we're all poor. In my barony, I do as I think right. But my allegiance to the king is unquestioned. I could have wished for a different answer. Ride along with me, young man. Father! Your Majesty, you don't. With pleasure, Your Majesty. Except for the matter of uh, earning my living. Fifty gold pieces to use your bow for hunting animals, not purses. And to have a little talk with me. A hundred and I'm your man. <laughs> you are a thief. I don't deny it. Unlike others. It's getting late, Your Majesty. Time you were riding on. I'll send a messenger to Bannock to tell my servants that the king will be there within the hour. No, on second thoughts, since you know these woods so well, you take his horse and go. And please don't steal all the silver and candlesticks. Captain of the Guard! Servants?
Where is everybody? Have you gone? Fussing at me and get it out. Anybody would think it was only a bee sting. <laughs> The arrow is yours. The castle is Edmund's. A trap, emptied except for the true assassin waiting for you and me. I heard him, saw him. I almost had him when he knocked me down. A phantom who shoots and vanishes, leaving an innocent victim to bear the blame. Take him out and hang him. Please. Please, Your Highness, save me. I, I didn't do it, I swear. Oh, come, at least quit life like a man. Stand back. Ah, oh, my sweet Kate. We'll just walk to the door like a loving couple. I didn't expect to be the quarry. By your leave, sir, <laughs> I'll ride to White Oaks for troops and servants to replace those so strangely vanished. I should be back by morning. Good. Are you all right? I wonder if he was telling the truth. Who? That young man, of course. We shall never know, shall we?
finish what you should have done already. back without him. Well, did you find him? No, just his horse. Kept you. Your troops? I had to wait for them to come back and escort me in. If you've come here to have another try at me, you won't find me the same easy target. You saw me shoot in the woods. My arrow would have gone home the first time. Not in the shoulder, in the heart. Light the candles so I can see your face while we talk. Is it an honest face, Robert? It's the face of an outlaw, not a hired killer. Why an outlaw? Because I enjoy it. Are you strong enough to ride? And take your daughter with you, what men you have, and ride out of here? No. Edmund means to destroy you. How? I don't know. But it'll be tonight. Believe me. I stayed here to prove my innocence. Would I risk my life for lies? Edmund. My cardinal rule is to do nothing except for gain. I've broken it for you. Don't make me sorry. Upstairs. Awaken the princess. Tell her we're leaving here at once. Yes, Your Majesty. Tagsons! Tagsons! <laughs> Save Catherine! 
upstairs and find the girl! and the Princess Catherine are dead. I do hereby assume the post of regent of this realm to meet the threat of foreign invasion. Edmund of Cornwall, first minister oh, of the crown. Arthur dead? <gasps> By what right does Edmund assume power over all England? By what right indeed? It's not wise to raise that sort of question. Not in Edmund's lands. Well, are you finally convinced that the jewel is genuine and valuable? Absolutely. No question. Here you are. Everything we bargained for. Excuse me, sir. I wonder if you could help us. There's a girl we're looking for. Oh! Right! Stop him! Stop him! Return to camp. Let me go to them. Edmund's named himself regent, proclaiming you dead. If those men find you, they'll kill you as they killed your father. Edmund's men sacked the castle. Disguised as Saxons to hide his treason. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. He wouldn't want to harm me. He loves me. He loves himself.
What do you mean to do? Keep you alive, out of Edmund's hands. Despite yourself. Take your clothes off. What? I said take your clothes off. Put these on. How dare you order me about? We're going to Merlin. He made your father king. Perhaps he can make you queen. No, I know you're lying. Nobody knows where Merlin is. Oh, that'll make things more difficult, won't it? Well, hurry up and put them on. Unless you prefer walking through the woods as you are. I am not going any further. Of course not, Your Majesty. Can't we stop for a minute? Not until we're safely out of Edmund's lands. Does it still hurt where I bit you? It serves you right for daring to lay hands on your queen, shearing me like a sheep. Does it make me look funny? No, sir. It's my brother what got himself lost. What are you doing on the roads this late? On a pilgrimage we be to the shrine of the, uh, the Miraculous Virgin at Dean. Ain't that it, brother? Well, by your leave, sir, we'll be on our journey in. Not tonight. How's that? No one moves in these woods tonight. Edmund of Cornwall's orders. But we ain't got so much time, and uh, Dean be a long way off. All the more reason to rest a few hours and make a fresh start in the morning. Now, come on over there with you. We're searching for a renegade and a girl, and we want no strangers stumbling about. So don't waste my time or try my patience. Well, now, being as you put it so nice, we'd be glad to stay the night, won't we, brother? Why don't he talk for himself? Why, bless you, sir. You hit on it first time. That'd be the whole point of the pilgrimage, to restore the boy's blighted tongue. They do say the very sight of the Virgin had deemed to perform the most miraculous cures, you know. Hurry it up. Come on, hurry along. Settle down there. Mm. This way, brother. Keep each other toasty warm this chilly night. Ooh. Having you near me makes my flesh creep. I thought I heard the voice speak. Ah, bless you, no, sir. If it were only so. Well, make yourselves useful. Get the packs off those horses. I wonder if the fleas realize they're nibbling on a queen. I'll tell them who I am. You see if I don't. Well, that's it, brother. Ah, the wooden lad do make a joy of work. So much for your Saxons. Or do you want me to dig deeper in the pack and find the uh, uniforms that go with the disguise? I'm sorry. And I'm not sorry. What do you think you're doing with that? Why, it's me brother, you see. Tore his shirt wide open on it, he did. If you know what's best for you, you'll forget you saw it. 
Why, why bless you now, sir. Why should we ever want to remember it? <laughs> Wait a minute. Take off that rag and put this on. Hurry it up. Ah, the boy be that bit slow, you see. It, it don't seem fair, you're giving up such a fine shirt. All you peasants are the same. Someone tries to do you a good turn and you go all stiff back. Change this shirt or I'll change it for you. Do as a man say. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You'd think I wanted to kill the boy. I would think it, wouldn't you? There now, brother. Ain't that just fine? Think. I can't think. I'm tired and I'm hungry. And you're a queen. Start acting like one. Where did Merlin go when he left the court? How long do you think we can play cat and mouse with Edmund and not be swallowed up? Where did Merlin go? the world so wicked. Not the world, Catherine. Only some of the people that let into it. Your father lit candles against the darkness. I mourn him too. All the more reason to stop a usurper from smashing what he built. Catherine, try to remember. Robert, last night, where did you tell Edmund Soldier we were going? The first place that came into my mind, the shrine of the Virgin of the Priory at Dean. And Abbot, was I there, my child? Where Virgin smiles a healing smile. That's the verse Merlin used to answer to me when I asked him where he lived when he was young. Is it possible he could have returned there now he's old? in Camelot as regent, makes Excalibur in his hands. Yes, the dying king entrusted it to him. That's a lie. Who am I to choose? I have my church, my fellow monks to consider. Well, then, let's just say that I brought you a boy for refuge. That shouldn't strain your patriotism. If Edmund should discover what I've done for you. The sooner I find Merlin, the sooner the queen will be away from you. I tell you, I know nothing of him. But you admit that he came back here. Preaching heresy. 
contaminating the minds of the novitiates. So you threw him out? I suggested he might be happier if he went elsewhere. Where? You and the boy may stay here till tomorrow. After that, you must go. Thank you for your Christian charity, Prior. Sir? Some of us respected the teachings of Merlin. Some of us still seek him out to hear him. Where? At a woodcutter's hut in the forest of Chatham. The people there revere him as a healer. I've heard of this healer, but by another name. Merlin wants it so. Tonight, after the final prayer, I will be waiting with a horse for you in the cemetery. with a grubby boy. Can I come with you? Please. The search is for the two of us. This way we'll both be safe. But you don't even know what Merlin looks like. That's all right. He doesn't know what I look like either. I must get back before I'm missed. You will come back. If I didn't, who'd change your shirts for you? Oh, Robert. Highness, let me see you safely inside. Had you brought here to Bannock so that we might be alone. Have you come to woo me then, Edmund? 
in my way. I do love you, Kate. As you loved your liege, Lord. Marry me. Accept me as your king. And you can return to Camelot in safety. Is that all you ask? Marry a usurper with my father's blood still on his hands. I'll come to Camelot. But to call you traitor and to claim my throne! No, Kate, you won't. My men are everywhere. Riding every road, guarding every gate at Camelot. And look at you. Any one of them could kill a peasant girl and never know she was the queen. Then why are you here? Not for love. All right, a bargain. No love demanded and none given. But you are Arthur's daughter. It would be best for us all if I had you as my queen. Those at court who still oppose you. That's it, isn't it? Yes, yes, a few. But it needs only your dead body to convince them otherwise. Think again, Kate. Don't throw away your life so rashly. It won't change what's happened. Now will you let me kill her? Come on. You're not dead yet. We threw cut the rope behind us. Play us false, I'll be back to kill you. Now. Hope is honest, thief.
ever tell you you take a lot of keeping alive? So do you. Only these last few days. for the healer. But, um, we can come back another time. Yes. Oh, well. Who are you? And what do you want? I was about to ask you much the same thing. Run! Noughts and crosses with me. I asked you a question. A good man's been taken from us. A man who helped all of us. And these scum left hiding in his place. Edmund's men. Or more exactly, his cousin, the Earl of Chatham's. Now you two turn up. Strangers to us. Darting away the minute you see our faces. The man who was taken, was he the one you called the healer? What happened to him? I ask in the name of the Queen. There's only one person could be Queen, and that's Catherine. And she's dead, God rest her soul. Catherine, soul and body all together, despite Edmund. That? <laughs> Don't look much like a Queen to me. Well, it's the best you're ever likely to have. Now, where's Merlin? How long has he been in Chatham's hands? Merlin? The old man's Merlin. Well, you don't think the Earl would bother himself with an old rustic mixing drugs and remedies in the woods, do you? How can we save him? Take Chatham Castle. If the old man's still alive there. And that can't be done. Why not? There's men in armor at every gate. Besides, us rise up against the Earl? Why, that'd be treason. We'd be putting our heads on the chopping block. Not if I commanded you to do it. And if you're who he says you are? We loved Arthur, but... No, no, the risk is too big. Mind you, I'm not saying that you're not Arthur's daughter. But what if I'm the only one that believes it? You can see where that puts all of us. Where are you going? To find a way to get Merlin out of there. Catherine! I've seen my father killed. Innocent monks slaughtered. I've been harried and hunted for days. Well, I've come this far to find Merlin. I'm not going to give up now. I'm not going to let a kind, good old man get murdered just because... because you, you great elf, don't know a queen when you see one! Do you still doubt who she is? <coughs> Take a deep breath! I knew it'd fit you. <laughs> uh, the man you made this for, did he ever try it on? Oh, that's only the first fit in. <laughs> Can you fight in it? Well, I'll admit I'm more used to a bow. Don't fret, Your Majesty. I fought knights on a horse. The good ones could kill me at a canter. Let's hope the one I'll meet won't be that good. 
Besides, perhaps you believe my story and let me pass. Well, if you get into Chatham Gates and you find Merlin, fire an arrow, and we'll try to do what needs doing. It's not the getting in that worries me. It's whether you can get me out. Well, I'll have every man what bears the Earl of Grudge. And that's quite a number. Now, come on! Robert. Your Majesty? If it comes to a choice, save yourself. Aside, I'll be knocked aside.
Water. My father sent me to you. Why? Who are you? Catherine. They told me Catherine was dead. Killed with Arthur. I don't know. I must be certain. Have I changed that much? It is I who should kiss your hand. Arthur sent you. I must see that you gain the throne. But how? Ah, what do you think I finally caught up to it? The noble Earl, hiding in a pig pen. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hang, all of you. For serving our queen. But who knows it? A half-dead old man who still thinks he can be kingmaker? And some scum here. But who else? <laughs> when we march on Camelot, we'll see that everyone knows. There will be no march on Camelot. Edmund could ask nothing better. A pack of rebels with which to busy England while the Saxons pour into our land. Saxons? Oh, yes. He boasted of it while trying to persuade me to be reasonable and support Edmund. The Saxons are already on their way. Edmund means to betray England to them without a fight and use their swords to do his killing. Then it's all been for nothing. Perhaps. But perhaps not. Nobles have been summoned to Camelot to witness Edmund's coronation. Are you queen enough to gamble everything and face Edmund with only me at your side? Gamble? Suicide. Robert. Out there in the woods, men die to save your life. For what? The knowledge of every hidden vault and secret passage inside Camelot. And once inside, what chance would we have against Edmund? Excalibur. The secret of Excalibur they tried to torture out of me. The secret only King Arthur and I have known. Archbishop, my lords, let the ceremony begin. The coronation's begun. We've come this far undetected. But once inside Camelot, Should we risk it? You needn't, Robert. But I must. Oh. 
Edmund of Cornwall swear to stand for the right and for justice? I swear it. To maintain this kingdom of England against all enemies, both within and without? I swear it. To rule in the name of God for the good of all, both noble and commoner alike? I swear it. With this royal line cruelly broken by the deaths of King Arthur and his daughter Catherine, with the consent of those here, and with the sanction of the sword Excalibur entrusted to you by Arthur, I crown you sovereign of this great realm, King of England. My Lord Archbishop, aren't you overlooking one thing? Catherine lives. She lives to claim her throne and cry vengeance upon the man who killed her father. Vengeance upon him. Catherine is dead. At your hands, Robert Marshall. Seize him as a traitor. Wait. Kent, your loyalty is to your king. No, my loyalty is to England. You say the queen is alive? Show her to us. Your majesty. Hear me! Hear me! You Essex! You Sagai! Queen? Queen of some cow herd? A poor lie, Marshal. A foolhardy one on which to end your life. And Merlin, the man who was closest to Arthur, is he lying when he calls her queen? I pity that addled old man. You've tricked and duped him to his doom. Beware, Edmund of Cornwall. Beware, old man, if you value your life. Guards! Guards! I say this woman is queen. I call you false king. Damned and perjured by your treason against Arthur, against Catherine, against all England. If I lie, kill me now. Kill me with a symbol of your right to the throne. <gasps> One thrust. Here. Draw and kill me if I lie. Draw. Strike me down with Arthur's sword. Prove my treachery. Stop my lying. What devil's trick is this old man? Arthur drew Excalibur from the magic stone where no one else could and proved himself our king. That sword can be drawn from its sheath only by the rightful heir to Arthur's throne. Witchcraft! Treason! I am the king! that Edmund has done to us in treachery and darkness. We thought to meet you at the open gates of Camelot as King of England. And now you tell us that Catherine is on the throne. I ordered him to kill the girl after you let her live too long. You still need me. We need no one who fails us. <laughs> I don't think we can expect the Saxons to wait, Your Majesty. Fight well, Robert. And let's hope our friends arrive before the battles lost or won.
Son. A little plump, perhaps, but... Well, then, Sir Guy. A bit old, it's true, but with the wisdom of a king. Oh, stop it, Robert. I love you. No, Kate. Marriage to a commoner is the one luxury a queen cannot afford. Robert Marshall. In reward for services rendered to the Crown, we hereby proclaim you Baron of Cornwall and Chatham, and place into your keep the castles Bannock, Weir, St. Moors, Chatham and St. Ives, together with all the lands and livestock from the River Tamar to the sea. Now, will you marry me? 
I don't know, Kate. How can I be sure you're not just marrying me for my possessions? Gods! Gods! Oh, Kate. When you put it that way, how could any man say no? Robert, if you really don't want to marry... 